my fourth book called uh, India. And it's uh, uh, kind of a journey, kind of a visual journey uh, through uh, about 14 or yeah, 13 or 14 trips I took to India um, over the last 10 years, but mainly over the last four or five years when I really wanted to focus on, on doing a book specifically about India. Um, you know, the more I went there, the more I realized, you know, I think India and Italy are very uh, similar in some ways in the sense of their sensitivity to beauty, their, their feeling of family, how important family is to them, um, how important beauty is to them in a very most simple level, whether it's people that live tribally or people that live in Mumbai or a big city. Oh, all of it, I just like walking around and experience it. To me, Geneva uh, is still very Italian. Um, you know, cities like, I think this is a period where Milan kind of steps up to an international city, the way Florence or Venice or Rome are. And I think right behind that is a city like Torino or Geneva that, you know, are very chic. They have a wonderful history, but they still feel Italian. You know, more and more tourists come here, but, but when I'm here, it feels very much like, uh, like the Italy that I dream about. I know Scott for some years and I had the honor to be able to do a bit of a guide in our historical center, to the discovery of the many bottles of that are still there and of which he is very passionate. E due anni fa mi parlò di questo progetto del libro sull'India e mi disse ma ti farebbe piacere presentarlo a Genova? E ho detto assolutamente sì perché anzi avere poi l'onore di avere una persona come lui nella nostra città mi sembra davvero una cosa estremamente positiva anche perché il libro è stato presentato a Londra, a Parigi, a Milano e quindi Genova va a inserirsi in un filone di città davvero interessante.